stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. This is Joanne. We are going to make a gorgeous layout today for the Confessions of a Paper Edit Cup File Shop. Look at this cup file. This mandala. Oh my god. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I made it as big as I possibly could to fit on it because I wanted it to take up the whole page. And I just adhered it straight down flat to this gorgeous rainbow paper from Pink Fresh Studio, Keeping It Real Collection. I just wanted all kinds of colors to be behind it. And I didn't want to take away from the cut file because I think it's so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use this picture. Myself and my husband from... Um, Two or three weeks ago, we were out to dinner, and I put one, two, three, four layers of card. Um, this is basil cardstock, and then these are all keeping it real. And I put one layer of cardstock under the picture, then fun foam. Can you see it? Yeah, see the black? And then three more layers just to raise it up off from the paper instead of all the papers being flat and then raised off off the background if I said that properly. So I'm going to put this right here in the middle. Isn't that pretty already? I mean, you could just put that on there and be done with it, couldn't you? Look at that. Hmm. Gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and hear it down. But I'm only putting um, ATG tape, can think of the word, in the middle because I am going to tuck a whole bunch of florals into this. I'm using mostly Pink Fresh, but I've also got a few exclusive Hip Kit Club items that I'm using on this page. I think that's pretty close to being centered. If it's not, it's okay because I'm going to surround it with florals and you'll never be able to oops you'll never be able to tell that i'm gonna go like this so i don't get fingerprints on my picture you'll never be able to tell that it's off centered so again keeping it real i have many alphas in case i want to use them i have these puffy phrases i have the alphas from the collection the cardstock stickers i think i'm definitely going to use this one that says so many feelings isn't that cute? Look at all the colors in this. And then I have all these florals from the collection. I bought two packs because I love flowers. And then, oh my God, you guys look at these. Hip Kit Club exclusive from the Delightful. They're, oh my God, I don't even know what, they're vellum butterflies. Oh, they're just amazing. I can't even describe them. Some enamel dots if I need them. I probably won't because I think I'm going to use gems. And then this is also Hip Kit Club exclusives. And I took the word love off from that. I put, um, oh my God, what you call those? Foam squares on the back. In case I want to use that for my title. But look at these butterflies. Oh my gosh. They're, you can see through them. And they're kind of, not like acid, they're vellum. So, but they're sort of acetate and you can bend them. And they look like they're foiled. Isn't that gorgeous? I love them. Sorry about my hands. I'm moving. <clears throat> which you may know if you've watched any of my other videos. So I'm a mess right now. But I have to get my layouts done. Okay, so my picture's now down, and again, I've only got it here adhered in the middle, so I have plenty of space to tuck things in under here. This layout has come together so quick and easy, it's craziness. So what I was thinking <clears throat> about doing is, you can see the top of the circle here and here. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen, and I'm not worried about it because my intent with this layout was to put a whole bunch of florals in here and what I like to do is tuck them underneath but see how where there's this break in the paper I'll put the bottom underneath and then have these two things be on top if you can see what I mean see it just makes it look really cool I think anyways so I'm going to put that there and I'll probably move things around just a little bit but we'll get the gist of what I'm doing here and this looks like a good one to put in the corner. 
and I'm trying to make it so the florals look right on top of the cud file. So I wouldn't want, see the tip of this? I wouldn't want that to look like that because that looks funny to me. So I'm going to put that right on the white. Doesn't that look better? Well, at least in my brain it does. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm just going to keep tucking florals in everywhere until I'm happy. This is going to be very floral heavy layout. And we're going to put some of this on top like that. Isn't it pretty so far? I love it. And I love pink. But I want to make sure I get some all the different colors from this collection. There's purples and pinks and yellows and oh, just so pretty. I'm not sure what I want to do with that one yet. Let's keep looking. All right, what do we got here? Oh, here's a nice pretty pink one. Maybe we could put this up here too. This one might look better in the corner. So basically what I'm gonna do is just make a whole bunch of floral clusters like that. And I'll probably glue them down off screen because, oh my goodness, could you imagine watching me do that for a half an hour? Oh my gosh, no, I don't think so. All right, so what else do we got here? Oh, here's some pretty pink ones. Maybe I'll take this out and use this one. How gorgeous is that one? Oof, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Something like that. Okay, and we need one more up at the top there. So what should we put? I'm wondering. Maybe this pretty one that has the purples in it. That way we can make sure we definitely get some purple in here. Yeah, that looks cute. What do you guys think? I love it. I might add some more florals in after I get gluing things down, but I'm going to come back and show you the final layout when I'm done because I think I'm going to put some down here too. And then I'm going to splatter, not splatter, I'm going to place some of these awesome, awesome, awesome butterflies on the layout. And look how pretty they are, like tucked in like this. You could put them so with dimension or you can like do half dimension where the top is up but the bottom is flat and i mean just look at them aren't they gorgeous and then i'm going to put this all the feels isn't that cute it's a good sentiment for you and your partner okay let me get this in here there's something like that i think that looks really cute right there and then somewhere down here, I'm thinking about putting this Hip Kit Love. I might put some flowers behind it to make it pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to use all of these gems. Oh my gosh, Pink Fresh gems. Aren't they awesome? Look, it's like magic, sparkly magic. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I What I think I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to put them all around the outside of the cut file corresponding with the colors. So say we put start this here and then end up with that. And then what's here, pink, do some pink here and then some dark pink here. And then we got yellow here and then we'll just throw some purple in to match the rest of the flowers. But I'm gonna put little gems all around the outside. And I'm gonna do that by using glossy accents and my little tool. I'll just do a couple and show you what I mean. We'll just do some yellow ones because I'm right there. So what I do is I put them in the little tray here so it's easier to use. And then I'm gonna as per usual, the glossy accents is stuck. Look at these cool things that my girlfriend Sylvia gave me. They're from Recollections, I think. I don't know. I can't even see. No, Teresa Collins. They're little push pins. They're perfect to get your glossy accents moving. You got to make sure you put those away, though, so kids and animals don't get those. Because, oh my gosh, could you imagine? 
So what I'll do is I'll just put a little dollop of glossy accents over here to the side so I can use it when I need it. And then I'll just dump some of these here and I'll go through and pick what I want. Do I want the big ones? Do I want the small ones? They come in different sizes in these gems. I'm not sure. I think both look good. Maybe I'll make up a little pattern or something. Maybe I'll do small, large, small, large. That would look cute. Isn't that pretty? So I'll just take a little dollop of glossy accents on the end of this. And then I will, like, say we're going to start right there. Do that. Take that. Put a little dollop in. Glossy accents are awesome because... The, whatever you use to put those down, you can't see it because it's all shiny. And there's no way that it's coming up. Once it dries, it's there forever. All right. And I'm probably going to use the glossy accents to put the butterflies down too. So you can't, because you can see through this. So I won't want you to see glue. Let me push this up close. See? Isn't it cute? I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this all down. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. Be right back. It's the final layout. I think I'm going to frame this one in my craft room. I really like it. Super, super flower clusters. But look at that cut file. It is just so perfect. I love that cut file. I can see myself using that constantly for cards and smaller versions of the cut file on different layouts. I just think it's fantastic. I love it. I'll link the cut file shop below. Make sure you go check it out. All right, so here are all the flower clusters. Sorry about the sunlight. These vellum butterflies are awesome, but guess what? They don't stick for nothing. Oh my God, I used glue. Then I tried glossy accents and the ATG doesn't work. Nothing works. So. I just put a bunch of glossy accents underneath there and I hope it dries overnight. There's nothing else I can do but try to do that because they're vellum so they're not drying. It's so weird. But anyways, I did end up using the Love. I used my scrapbook.com glitter marker to put some sparkle on the word just because I thought it was a little boring. But I like it. It matches the colors really good. And... Then um, I used the little alphas, and it says love you. And then here are all the pink fresh gems. I decided not to use the purple ones. I put pink where pink is, and then a darker pink around the oranges area because that's the closest I could get. And then there's the yellow. Pretty, right? And then... Some more pinks and then blues to the green isn't that nice and then a lighter blue I like it I think it's cute I definitely think I'm gonna frame this one just because it's super cute but there you go guys I hope you liked this because I had a lot of fun and actually besides the gluing all these little teeny teeny gems down this was the fastest scrapbook layout I've ever done in my life. So feel free to scrap lift and do something similar. Have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by.